بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. Uh, we begin with Surah Al-Infitar. Surah Al-Infitar is a uh, Meccan surah according to the consensus of the scholars and it was revealed after Surah Al-Nazi'at. Uh, the name of the surah is Al-Infitar. Uh, Al-Suyuti, rahmatullahi alayhi, says there is no other name for this chapter except Al-Infitar. Uh, as for the purpose or the reason for revelation, there is no particular reason for revelation regarding this uh, surah. Uh, again, this is a Meccan surah, so it is going to be addressing the issue of uh, the day of judgment and resurrection and uh, the two categories of people or two types of people uh, on that day. Uh, Ibn Umar said, and this is reported by a Tirmidhi classified as authentic by Al-Albani, that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever would like to see the uh, day of judgment as if he's seen it with his own eye, then let him recite, إِذَا السَّمَاءُ انفطرت. Allah says, إِذَا السَّمَاءُ انفطرت. When the sky breaks apart, splits or cracks, that is, uh, scholars said that the splitting of, uh, of the sky uh, is an indication of the disintegration of the astronomer system. Uh, and it is one of the major signs uh, of the hereafter or the day of resurrection. Uh, and it will crack so that uh, angels will uh, start descending, as Allah Azza wa says. وَيَوْمَ تَشَقَّقُ السَّمَاءُ بِالْغَمَامُ وَنُزِّلَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ تَنْزِيلًا And mention the day when the heaven will split open with emerging clouds and the angels will be sent down in successive descent. And then Allah says, وَإِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ تَثَرَتْ And when the stars fall scattering, you notice some of the verses are similar to verses we've uh, studied in previous surahs. Uh, they will scatter, they will fall and scatter, lose their beauty and light, uh, and this will happen due to the uh, disruption of the solar system, as the scholars said. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ And when the seas are erupted, Ibn Abbas said, they overflow and mix all of them together to become one sea. al tabari said, salty water will be mixed with uh, sweet water and they will all become uh, mixed as one uh, sea. وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْثِرَتْ And when the contents of the graves are scattered or exposed, al tabari said, they will become upside down. The bottom will go to the top of it. And Ibn Abbas said it is referring to people being brought uh, out of it alive. Now, again, إِذَا وَإِذَا وَإِذَا When this happens and when this happens and when this happens, we're expecting something. Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that something. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ وَأَخْرَ a soul will then know what it has put forth and kept back. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, as reported by as suyuti he said, what it has put forth is referring to the good that a person does, and what it kept back is referring to a sunnah that person revived, which people followed, and he continues to earn reward as a result of, or an evil he initiated, which people imitated, and he will continue to incur sins after sins after sins until the day of resurrection. Qatada rahmatullahi alayhi said, uh, what it has put forth 
is referring to the obedience of Allah and what it kept back is referring to the disobedience of Allah and negligence with regards to his commands. Then Allah Azza wa Jal says, Ya ayyuhal insan, ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem? O mankind, what has deceived you concerning your Lord, the generous? Subhanallah, this is a nice uh, style or form or usage of words to address people. And at the end, Allah Azza wa describes himself as Kareem. No uh, qualities of strength, might, exaltedness, punishment, whatever. None of that was used. Kareem. So it comforts the person. What's deceiving you? Allah is generous. Allah is kind. Allah is merciful. This keeps the way or the gate open for people to come back, to turn to Allah Azza wa Jal in repentance. Now, who is... Uh, Al-Insan mentioned in this verse. There are four different uh, views uh, re uh, from the scholars regarding who is actually meant. Uh, Ibn Abbas and Muqatil said that it is uh, a man who's called as a nickname uh, Abu al-Ashaddain. Muqatil said his name is Usaid ibn Kaldah. Others said his name is Kalda ibn Khalaf al-Jumahi. Uh, Ata said it is referring to uh, Al-Walid ibn al-Mughira. Ikrima rahmatullah alayhi said it is referring to Ubay ibn Khalaf. Al-Mawurdi said it is referring to all disbelievers. Gharwak, deceived. Why were you so deceived that you neglected the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal? Umar radiallahu anhu said, by Allah, nothing deceived him, mankind that is, except his ignorance. Qatada said, it is the work of shaitan. Shaitan is the one who deceives mankind. Allah azza wa jal bestowed a, a bounty upon us by creating us human beings and nothing else. And this is how Allah Azza wa Jal started the, the, the call, Ya Ayyuhal Insan, to remind him that it's a bounty from Allah Azza wa Jal that he created you as that. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala subjected all other creations for your service. Then Allah Azza wa Jal gives some details of this generosity and honoring he is granted to human beings, to mankind. الذي خلقك فسواك فعدلك في أي صورة ما شاء ركبك. Who created you, proportioned you, and balanced you in whatever form He willed, has He assembled you? سبحان الله. Allah عز وجل is reminding mankind. With the beautiful form and shape he has created him in, which necessitates that we become grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal and express and act with gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal, because gratitude is not mere words one utters, as Allah Azza wa Jal says, "Imalu ala Dawood shukra." Oh, people of Dawood, practically. Thank Allah. You know, if especially with the development of science, and when when one looks at the amazing creation of human beings, he can't help but be astonished and stunned to the creation of Allah how complicated our bodies are, yet precise and function so accurately. It is just amazing. 
as Allah Azza wa Jal says, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ We will show them signs in the horizon and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. So Allah Azza wa is reminding mankind that it is Allah Azza wa Jal who created you as a human being and formed you in such a beautiful form as a human being. Al-Qurtubi, rahmatullahi alayhi, reported that Ibn Mas'ud said, he said, none of you except that Allah Azza wa Jal will talk to him alone on the day of, resur of resurrection and say, O oh son of Adam, what deceived you regarding me? O oh son of Adam, what did you or how did you act? And what did you do with the knowledge you knew from the Quran? O oh son of Adam, how did you reply to my messengers? O oh son of Adam, was I not watchful over you and over your eyes with which you, you, with which you looked and you used to look and gaze at things that were prohibited for you? Was I not watchful over your ears which you used to listen to things that are prohibited? And then he goes to say, Ibn Mas'ud, and then Allah Azza wa lists other organs and other limbs and then subhanallah Ibn Mas'ud says imagine how embarrassed you would be in front of Allah when Allah Azza wa starts listing these bounties and blessings which we often misuse which we often use to challenge Allah Azza wa Jal. See, by disobeying Allah, you're challenging Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is, this is a very, very dangerous challenge. He said, Ibn Mas'ud, that is, concluded saying, and if you attempt to deny any of that, Allah Azza wa Jal will make your own body testify against you. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, اليوم نختم على أفواههم On this day, we will seal their mouths. وتكلمنا أيديهم and their hands will talk وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ And their feet or legs will testify as to what they used to do. وَقَالُوا لِجُلُودِهِمْ لِمَ شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا قَالُوا أَنْتَقَنَ اللَّهُ On that day your skin will testify against you. People will say as Allah is telling us, they will tell or ask their skin, why did you testify against me? They will say, Allah made us speak out. Who made everything else speak out? This deserves pondering and reflection, brothers. This is worthy of us thinking about. Perhaps that we take heed and reform our uh, behavior and action with Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.